Welcome, Snack Attackers. I'm Jason. With me, as always, is Andrew. We've got. Oh, I can't even pretend to be happy. We've got another product from a brand that I would say done us dirty. Done us so dirty. Done us so dirty. It looks so much better than it tasted. It looked dead. delicious. I am, of course, referring to the previous Hillshire Bistro board. Now, when we reviewed it, do we, we have to do this? Yes, it's for it's for you guys. We sacrifice our enjo our stuff. our enjoyment for you guys. Now, we told you there were two flavors. This is that flip coin. We went out. We had to buy it because you know we bought the first one. We, we bought the first the one. We gotta buy the second one. We gotta tell you guys which one. Maybe one's better. Maybe one's better. Maybe one's better. Maybe one's maybe worse. one's worth the four. Well, actually, one would have to be worse. Maybe one's way. worth the four forty nine. Yeah, it's four forty nine again from Target. There's not a whole lot more to say before we get into this. Nothing. The first one wasn't very good. And we're not holding out hope on this one. I didn't even talk about the package last I time. I know that we said we've, we've gone through the judge book by its cover. And I know that it seems that we seem to talk about this every yeah, video well, now. We're not judging a book by its cover. We're not judging a book we're by its cover. We're judging a book by its, we read by its first yeah, book. This is the sequel to the book we already read. Why well, never is a sequel better than And the, the first original. book was already bad. When's the sequel better than Written the original? Written by like a kindergartner. I mean, some kindergartners maybe can write fantastic stories, but I doubt it. They barely even know the alphabet. I couldn't read when I was a kindergartner. I couldn't read till I was, uh, I think in first grade. Same! Yeah, I had to do Hooked on Phonics. Sword in the Stone. I was, was a really, I was really behind as a child. And now we're both really far And ahead. now I'm barely literate. Oh. Oh, we're ahead? Okay. I'm ahead. You... Ding! <laughs> Alright. Enough. Enough, yeah, uh... Enough. We're, we're putting off we're trying this. We're faffing about. We're putting off trying this. Procrastination. This is the next Hillshire Snacking Bistro board. Nothing to say about the board. package, just so we're clear. Uh, let me tell you what this one is. Genoa salami and prosciutto. So you get two meats in this I one. do like prosciutto. Why are you uh, that close to the mic for I'm this? sorry, I was just reading that. I'm sorry. I'm reading it aloud. I'm sorry for your ears. I'm also sorry. I do like prosciutto. With natural white cheddar cheese... Again, the natural has the asterisks, and uh, that means minimally processed, no artificial ingredients, but it's still processed a little bit. Uh, garlic and herb toasted rounds, so that's got to be better than sea salt. And dried cranberries and cherries is the oh. sweet thing, no chocolate. Oh, man. Right off the bat, I love prosciutto. <laughs> I love prosciutto too, so but I love this. So, might be better. Genoa salami I like more, that's not that black pepper. Um, black pepper and salami is atrocious. Again, we're going to try... So, are we going to try one cracker with cheese and salami, and one cracker with cheese and prosciutto, or with all the meats? No, don't do all the meats. Have you learned anything from Arby's Meat Mountain? Arby's Meat Mountain's delicious. Too much not meat. Not spawns. Too much meat. Not spawns. But not we'd spons. be willing to be sponsored if you Yeah, Arby, hit me up. I actually love Arby's. I haven't had Arby's Curly in a long time. Curly fries, chicken tenders, roast beef melt. Uh, their little sliders they got. They got new, uh, like, brisket sliders I that look fantastic. Had I haven't Arby's tried them yet. In years, that I would like it's to a have a huge Arby's deviation thing. from what we're uh, on, but Arby's marketing team, I love Arby's, and I will be your next spokesperson. I'm looking for a good reason to go back. I will be your next spokesperson. Looking for a good reason to go back. So we're not going to try with all the meats, or we are? Not going to try with all the meats. Okay. Well, then we'll, we'll individually snack tech on Smells each individual like meat. Smells like bread. Slightly better. Smells like garlic and herb. Smells, smells like Italian uh, smells olive oil. Do smell better. Don't take two cheeses. This I got time. one. I'm just making sure. Smell. I don't think we need to do the smell on every element smells because I sharp. think it's just they're, they're they're small elements. Okay, we'll smell them together then, I guess. Yeah, together the salami comes on top. The salami doesn't smell that good. Uh, it's got that kind of feediness. That I, I, I kind of like that funk. I nearly bit into it. I'm sorry. But uh, let's do this. One, one two, two, three. three snack, snack attack. The cheese is tiny, so it's hard to get to. Mm. You didn't see that. Mmm. Mmm. Better. Better. It's good. Cheddar is a cheaper cheese, but a sharp cheddar is a better contrasting cheese for most things. Mm. I'm sorry. The cheese. I'm does going out come there. On top. That sharp cheddar it comes in the back. It's just like. All of the flavors. There I am. Cheese. You can taste all the flavors me, this please. time, which I'm not okay with because I'm not a huge fan of the salami. The salami's great. I don't know what. I mean, I've said I like that funk. 
The garlic actually gets lost a little bit for me. I'm not big on funk. It's just a little bit of garlic. It's not bad though. I don't like funk. This is pretty good. There's a reason you're not supposed to lick feet. Wow. I'm just letting that one hang in the air. Uh, I'll get a little bit of prosciutto. Oh, Looks man. like they just gave you two slices, so I guess just kind of then rip there's off one, a piece. One, 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 no, 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 I mean, <laughs> darn. Alright, I'm looking forward to this. I love prosciutto. Oh, the prosciutto smells weird. It doesn't smell like normal prosciutto. Smells a bit like pizza sauce. Well, uh, let's give it a try. One, one two, two, three, three snack, snack attack. attack. Oh, man. For sure, it's not as good. Mm -hmm. I have the salami more. No. Yeah. I mean, my expectations have been exceeded, but not. It's by really much. cheap prosciutto. You can tell. Um, I'll hold it up. A lot of prosciutto usually has like marbling, like much better uh, fat distribution to the meat, so it kind of melts in your mouth. This one, it actually just kind of looks like really thinly sliced and slightly cured and dried ham instead of the specific prosciutto that I'm more used to. I'm gonna try it with uh, all the elements, uh, including both meats now. It's a kid of expectations, I will admit. Yeah, I mean, I I wasn't happy about this, and now I'm, no, I mean, I would, I'm sorry. I'm not gonna say that. I'm not gonna say it yet. Spoilers. I'm, snack attack pass. I'm indifferent. Maybe the cranberry will change that for me. This, this is gonna be hmm. the deciding factor. Of Paso Yas. The prosciutto is bad. Having all of them, the prosciutto comes out on top. It's a bad prosciutto. Hmm. You know what? I didn't think I would like that as much as I did. That makes it a snack attack, yes. Dried cherries and cranberries? Mm hmm. Not bad at all. Delicious. I love dried cherries and dried cranberries. I'm not a huge fan of cranberries, so I'm really. I'm a crazy guy. I'm su not crazy. I mean, yes, crazy. But. I'm surprised at how good that was. That makes it a snack attack, yes. I really enjoy craisins. I'm gonna just try the prosciutto on its own because I think this is the worst element and I just wanna make sure I wanna isolate it. Oh yeah, that's terrible. Ooh, bad prosciutto. But ignore the prosciutto, keep with the Genoa salami, keep with this great white cheddar and these fantastic garlic uh, crisps, and this is good. This is snack tech, yes, for me. The prosciutto is not enough to bring it down. Uh, what would you give it out of 10? Six. I'm gonna give this uh, 7.5. Yeah, I, I enjoy this. I really like this is coming in to show my weaknesses as a reviewer. I love white cheddar, sharp cheddar. It's very basic, but I love it. And I love Genoa salami. It's one of my favorites. Uh, I like a picante uh, sausage as much as the next person. I like something with a little bit more depth than Genoa. But I like there are times where you get too far. That has no, that's okay. Is it not both sausage? Chorizo just means sausage, but chorizo is a specific kind of sausage, but it's not in the same vein of the salami. So I was mainly talking about different kinds of salami. Oh, thanks for educating me. Yeah, no problem. Uh, anywho, uh, when you get to some of the higher end like salamis that have a lot of fennel or black pepper, I'm not a huge fan of that, but I do like levels of flavor. Genoa is like pretty much the, base, the basic one. And when it comes down to it, for me, this is more like a comforting food. It's garlic herb chips. It's that sharp cheddar and it's the Genoa salami it's something that I would like I've eaten a lot as a kid honestly because uh, our, our grandma would buy us uh, kielbasa I and was cheese. not a fan of uh, I was always a huge fan and I would just be game. like I would get these um, I never got the Ritz crackers because those are too buttery and they contrast everything too too uh, poorly I got the club crackers you know with the, with the elves on them the Keebler elves the club crackers because they're just salty and they're not as buttery and then I would get some sharp cheddar fresh like sharp cheddar that I cut and some of this kielbasa, which is just, um, kielbasa just means, I believe, kielbasa just means uh, sausage, sausage in again. Russian. But uh, at Polish stores, Russian stores, they have these very specific But ones. it's kind of like chorizo, where it's a specific yeah. type. Yeah, and it's, there's a whole selection. But anyway, there was a huge deviation just to tell um, you that I love this. 7.5 out of 10. I'm, Snack attack, yes. But as always, wait, plus, wait. Oh. I have one thing to say, though. Okay. This little thing alone... I would give it a 10 out of 10. The dried cranberry? Yeah, and so I need to put my score a little bit higher because these things I've just been snacking on, and they're so good. I have to give it a 7 out of 10. Okay. Because well, uh, there you go. Uh, well, but as question, always, the question we ask around here is, would, would you, you buy, buy it again? again? Is there any other way to get these? Yeah, craisins. Is you that can buy craisins. This is craisins? Yeah. 
Or dried cherries. They then sell I, them both. Then I would not buy these again. I would buy craisins <laughs> and dried cran- and cher- dried, dried cherries. Ooh, proprietary craisins? That's only available here. No, it's yeah, it's. I didn't know this is what craisin was. Um, yeah, it's just dried uh, mm. cranberry, uh, usually sweetened because dried cran, like just a cranberry is very very bitter. I like raisins. I like raisins. I guess I like dried cherry. Uh, any, anyway, uh, uh, yeah, I would buy it again. I love this. Um, this is very delicious. This is very like, it's very comforting to me. Why buy uh, this when I can buy raisins? Well, I mean, <laughs> I want every, I want everything else. You want uh, to shoot out. But anyway, anyway, remember to like, comment, subscribe, all the fun YouTube stuff, and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.